to this video regarding HP Tango printer so it is also known as HP uh, Tango 100 printer so I'm going to show you how to do unboxing quick unboxing and a setup so that we can start using it now the first step is to unbox the printer so just remove the printer carefully out of the box So here we can see the printer comes in this box and this is very compact and small printer yet it's heavy in size and yeah, it has some kind of case here let's see this is for holding the paper so that's the small printer also we get the leaflets as you can see here and a booklet and here we have the power cable and two ink cartridges so simply just take it out so this way it works And it also has, as you can see here, the power button is here and the wireless button is here. So here we can see the printer is on and you can see the green light here. And your printer is starting up now. And the next step is to install the ink cartridges. For that we just open the top cover. Below this door we have the ink cartridge chamber. And to open that door we simply have to press it down and it will open here we have to install the ink cartridges so just wait for the ink cartridge chamber to move and come here so that's the color ink cartridge and it uses the ink cartridge number 64 this is number 64 make sure you remove the orange seal which is here like this so here we can see the ink cartridge chamber so it has lock system here as you can see now install the color ink cartridge here so just place it so you just have to just press it and then move it and it will lock here for the black simply first place the ink cartridge in the position as you can see place it under this flap hold the one end and press it from the other end you will hear the lock sound it's locked that means your ink cartridge is installed now close the ink cartridge chamber door press it down we need to enter this printer into the setup mode for that we need to press and hold the wireless button so that is at the back of this printer below the power button so press and hold for three seconds and release it it will enter your printer into the setup mode now go to your device for example I have iPhone here and open the Wi-Fi setting and in the Wi-Fi setting you just have to wait for the printer network to come up so here we can see it says HP Tango click on that click on the next button so it's just setting up So here we heard the sound that means it's connecting so it says the setup is complete and it is connected to the Wi-Fi network of your home as you can see here and click on the done button now next thing is go and open the HP smart app so HP smart app is very important where you can just add the printer and use it for the wireless purpose and here you have to click on the add printer button you will see the name of the printer is here click on that again now it shows the printer here it says setup so click on the setup click on the continue now 
now it says create an HP account to sign in to register your printer or if you want you can just skip the account activation and warranty and here we can see the printer is set up the next thing is to do the printing for example here click on the print document section select any document you want to print for example this one and click on the print button click print again so here you will see it has sent the command for the printer now we need to add the pages so insert any page you want since it says the out of paper so click on continue once you enter the paper and wait for the printing so this way we can do the wireless printing so it's very easy to connect with your Wi-Fi network or home or office and then you can start using wireless printing open the HP smart app and in the app you will see your printer HP Tango printer click on the icon of the printer on the next screen you will see alignment recommended the next thing is to click on that and click on the continue button once you click on that you will see it takes you to the HP website and your printers detail is here now from here you can do the align print head clean print head and clean smear so if you want to do the alignment you can do just click the alignment otherwise you can do the cleaning for the print head if the quality is not good so let's start with print head so click on align print head so here you can see it has started to print a page automatically now it will do the alignment and it will show up the result here so here we can see all the colors and lines are visible and it seems to be clear so once it is done we will see the detail here on the screen so that is done and it says the alignment is done congratulations is now printer is now calibrated for the best print quality so that is great and also you get a confirmation message and just click ok on that the next thing is like if you want to clean up the print head or clean the smear the thing is you have to click on the activate print head cleaning and print progress reports so just click on that and also click on the clean smear and then you can do that as well so now we have to print the printer information page for that you simply have to press the information button which is just here so press it once it will send a command for the printer to print the page so this is the printer information page here as we can see and you see this blue icon is for Wi-Fi direct icon and below that it displays the name of the printer and this is the password of this printer in case when you press the information button and it prints a page and it is possible you cannot see the Wi-Fi direct password in case you see a page like this where the Wi-Fi direct says is turned off that means you need to switch it on and then you have to print the information page again and for that you simply have to press the information button for three seconds press and hold and it will switch on all the lights now you have to just press the uh, arrow button and the cancel button all together after three seconds release them and it will activate the Wi-Fi direct it will print a printer status report so just ignore this report and press the information button again and then it will print the printer information page where you can see the details as you can see this is a very compact printer and we can use it for wireless printing 
now you can use it with the Wi-Fi direct setup which is actually the inbuilt Wi-Fi of this printer where you can print the password and connect it with any device or you can use it for the Wi-Fi setup where you can keep this printer online on your home or office Wi-Fi network and then you can do the printing but uh, it's only for the printing you cannot use it for the copy because it don't have any scanner here and you cannot scan as well you can only use it wirelessly so this is a drawback back as well hopefully it's helpful for you thanks for watching